Oh. Hello, this is Chris from Scientific Audiophile, and today we're going to compare the Topping DX3 Pro to the RME82. A quick look at the front of each of the units just to get a quick comparison of the way they look. This is just a quick look at the back of each. The big difference between the two is the balanced inputs available on the RME, which just aren't available for terms of space probably for the topping. And just another quick look at the remotes for each of the units. You can see the RME is significantly smaller, but has a lot more options on it. So right now the speakers are playing through the topping and one little shocker that is not something that happens on the RME is when you plug in the headphones. And I go and I plug them in right here. And what you'll notice is the speakers are still playing music and so are the headphones. So the solution is using the remote control where you literally have to push the button and then you have to switch it back out to line out because just unplugging the headphones does not bring the speakers back on. This is not how the RME operates because the RME operates on a truly higher level than the topping. And one more quick look at the two units before we do our listening tests head to head. You can see the size difference and you can see the same level sets so that I can match both the headphones with each other. So these listening tests are as scientific as you can get. Throughout all my listening tests, I had to take out the adapter so that I could plug the um, other headphones into the DX3's little IEM input. So it should be quite clear that pure design of the two units the RME far outshines the topping. It's a better design, better thought out. It also costs significantly more money. The topping DX3 Pro can be had for $200 on Amazon and the RME goes for approximately $1,300. So there's a huge, huge price difference. But how do they sound? So the first thing you must be asking is why did I cut the listening session so short? Why one third of what I normally listen to? This should have been an 1800 hour listening test until I derived the answer. Well, the fact is that between the two units, it wasn't even close. I didn't need the additional 1200 hours to come up with who wins this battle. And the answer is right here in the ratings. Okay, so here we go. The RME is going to get the Riesling, yes, meaning the topping is a Pino Grigio. Well, there you have it. I hate to come down so hard on one and so fantastic on the other, but that's the reality. Thank you so much for watching The Scientific Audiophile, and don't forget to subscribe to get to our next video.